When President Donald Trump visited Key West late last year, it was the first time in nearly 55 years for a sitting U.S. president to visit Key West. Prior to that, the last time was when John F. Kennedy stopped by to inspect the defenses of Key West and provide some positive publicity for South Florida. And that was in November of 1962, following the Cuban Missile Crisis. Key West location and climate has a long history of drawing in the top executives, not just from companies, but also from the most powerful nation in the world. U.S. presidents have loved Key West for years. One of the most famous visitors was Harry Truman. Harry Truman came to Key West 11 times during his presidency. He always ended up staying at the Navy's officer residence, and that house is now called Truman's Little White House. Ulysses S. Grant was the first U.S. president to visit Key West. He came in 1880. It was 11 years after leaving offices while traveling with Civil War General Phil Sheridan. They were on a steamship from New Orleans bound for Havana, but had to stop in Key West for the day. That was during the period when Key West was one of the largest cities in Florida and also one of the wealthiest. Another Civil War leader, Jefferson Davis, had also visited Key West. He stopped by in 1867, the day after he was released from prison on bail. Key West is a good place to go when you just get out of jail. <laughs> in his first term as president, Grover Cleveland also stopped by Key West in 1889. He only spent a few hours in the city, and he was shown around the island in carriages, and there was a public reception held at the Russell House. William Howard Taft came to Key West on Henry Flagler's Overseas Railway. The year was 1912. It was just 11 months after the railway had opened, and President Taft was on his way to inspect the Panama Canal. But of course, he had to come to Key West first and then get on a ship. And Calvin Coolidge also stopped by Key West on his way back from a meeting in Cuba. That year was 1928. And he had just finished speaking at a big conference in Cuba. Franklin Delano Roosevelt visited Key West six times between 1917 and 1939. He was practically a snowbird. His first stop was when he was young assistant secretary of the Navy, and he was en route to Cuba as well. After Roosevelt was stricken with polio, he spent several winters in the Keys on a houseboat. And then he also came back to Key West as president in 1939. It was a very different ride then as he was coming down the overseas highway in an open-air convertible. And you can be sure that Key West always appreciated this type of attention from the chief executive. As many of our streets in Key West are named for presidents. There's Truman Avenue. There's Eisenhower and Kennedy Drive. Dwight Eisenhower first came to Key West before he became president. He was the presiding officer of the Joint Chiefs of Staff when he came and he spent 21 days at the Little White House trying to recover from an illness. Guess who recommended that he do that? You got it. Harry Truman. Eisenhower also returned in 1955 when he was recovering from a heart attack. You're seeing the theme here. People love to come to Key West to recuperate from all the ills of the rest of the world. President Kennedy came to a trip on Key West back in March of 1961, and he met the British Prime Minister here in Key West for a summit. So prior to Donald Trump visiting at the end of last year, John F. Kennedy's visit to Key West in 1962 was the last time a sitting president came to Key West. A couple other presidents visited Key West, but it was after they had left office. Jimmy Carter came down. Bill Clinton has been here. George H.W. Bush had a lovely little fishing hidey hole that he liked to come and do some fishing in Isla Mirada. We heard a lot about that after he passed away last year. Many, many stories were told about the wonderful interactions people had with him while he was in Isla Mirada. And it was today, January 17, 1928, that President Calvin Coolidge and his wife arrived in Key West 
upon returning from the 6th Inter-American Conference held in Havana. They arrived by ship, and once they arrived, the mayor showed them around, showed them the naval station, the army barracks, the Meacham Airport, and then they took a ride along beautiful Ocean Avenue, what we call today North and South Roosevelt Boulevard. And that's what happened today in Key West history. Today in Key West history is brought to you by 43 Keys Media. If you want to learn all about our illustrious past and even what's going on today in Key West, visit 43keys.com. You can get this program as well as others as an Alexa flash briefing. And you can find us on YouTube and anywhere that you listen to podcasts. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you over at 43keys.com.